Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's parent workshop. My name is Steffi St. Pierre, a family engagement specialist here at the Early Learning Coalition of Palm Beach County. Before we can get started, go ahead and share this video with your family and friends, as the topic today focuses on how parents can get ready with the transition of their children going to kindergarten. Well, the transition to kindergarten can be a big change for both parents and children. As exciting as this change may be, it can also bring anxiety. So by helping kids adapt to new situations and settings, parents can also engage in their child's education and feel at ease regarding their children's successful transition to a new school. So if your child, if your child is uh, starting kindergarten soon, you may be approaching this major milestone with conflicting emotions, which is normal. So, and just remember that kindergarten is a major step for your children as it is considered their first day of big kid school. So let's explore ways that you as a parent can better deal with the conflicting emotions while assisting your child adjust to this new transition. Now, if you've asked yourself, how can I start the process of transitioning my child to kindergarten? Well, here is a timeline on how to start getting ready for a successful transition. First is the winter season. We are currently in the winter season. So now, did you know that it's time to register for kindergarten? Yes, now is the time to gather all the information and documents you will need to register your child for kindergarten before the end of the school year. The first step is to find your school. After finding the school, verify if they have a deadline as some of them have a limited number of spaces for children. So when gathering the information uh, you will need to register, the documents or information you might need are birth certificate, proof of required immunizations for the child's doctor, from the child's doctor, proof of a recent physical exam, proof of residency, home address, phone number, and if applicable, guardianship papers. Now, let's go to the spring season. Spring season, for the spring season, we wanted to share a few tips that you can implement during the spring season. They are as follows. So first is to tell your child what to expect. It is extremely helpful to talk to your child about what kindergarten will be like in a positive way to help them start preparing for this transition and share some of your happy memories about starting school. The second one, Encourage your child's independence. So now is the time where you can give them simple directions and let them complete tasks on their own. The third one, establish a morning and bedtime routines. So routines are known to, be, to help children learn, make them feel safe, and for them to feel in control with their world. So now you can take time to speak with your child about morning routines, including how will they be transported to school or bedtime routines where you are ensuring that your child get a good night of sleep and be ready for the next day. The fourth one, read books about school, which is my favorite one. So read books with your child and talk about the pictures and the story. While doing so, you can also discuss any feelings, questions, or concerns about kindergarten. Now, we selected five books that I will gladly share with you. Let's go through the first one. The first one is Eating the Alphabet by Lois Elert. This book introduces fruits and vegetables from around the world. And it also helps uh, uh, children recognize almost all letters when named while learning nutritious food choice. The second book is From Head to Toes by Eric Carl. 
So throughout this interactive book, the animals are inviting readers to copy their movements as they play. So it seeks to engage in physical activities with increased intensity and duration. The third book, Germs Are Not For Sharing by Elizabeth Burdick and Marika Hillen. So this book initiates and completes familiar hygiene routines independently. The fourth one, Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. So the lesson in this book is to teach children that it is okay to make mistakes, right? So this book will allow your child to recognize and name their own emotions and manage their behavior with or without an adult support. And the last one, Making Friends by Fred Rogers. So throughout this book, children can see how much fun making new friends can be. This book will help your child get excited about meeting new people. Now to the best season of all time, <laughs> summer season. So we wanted you to make the most of the summer by finalizing a few things for a successful transition um, to kindergarten. So the first one, library program and community activities. So during the summer, summer is basically a great time to take part in a free summer library program or another community um, activity to help you and your child learn and socialize with others before school starts. And the second one, you can also plan a kindergarten visit, right? You can arrange a school visit on your own if an orientation is not provided with your child, as it will help make preparing for kindergarten easy for them. And um, while doing so, you can verify to see if you can include a visit to the school's cafeteria, playground, or even the gym. Okay, so now just know that advanced preparation can assist in the transition to kindergarten as it will make it less stressful and positive for both you and your child. And make sure that you are also enjoying this next stage um, in your child's life and in your life as a parent. So now, thank you all for joining us today. Remember to share the video and follow us on all our social media platforms. And see you next time on our Parent Chat.